Hello, my favorite Star Stable riders. We're here in Fort Pinta with Miss Isabel Fig because it's time for a magic show. Who's excited for a magic show? As much as I'm not a big fan of magicians, I'm kind of excited for the magic show. So let's check it out. There she is. How are you, my little pecan? Oh, I've been so fabulously, extraordinarily, wickedly excited to see you in the beautiful Frost Torch because today is the day. Time to put on a show. Ta-da! Sweetie, I've been meaning to ask you something. What would you say to being, wait for it, in my show? As my magician's assistant, what do you say? As long as you're not tricking us. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh, you're just so wonderful. I knew you'd say yes. Cupcake, are you ready? Because now it's time for my, sorry, I mean our amazing show. Ooh, ooh, it's happening. Here it is. Everybody's come around. I love her outfit. I'm super jealous. Is it happening? I guess not yet. Okay, let's hop down. I don't know that we need Frost Torch for this. I don't know. Asthma. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our fantastical show. Before we continue, may I introduce my magnificently, magically marvelous Nova and the beautifully, bravely, brilliant Frost Torch. Oh, I didn't bring him on stage. I'm sorry. Here they are to perform for you a trick of enormous complexity. Bound to astound. Show them the card trick I taught you. You'll do a fantastic job, darling. I believe in you. Oh, okay. Uh, here's a card trick. <laughs> Yay, they liked it. And I did it correctly. Astonishingly, astoundingly amazing. I like her alliteration. What a trick. Well done, pumpkin. Magic must be in your genes. Darling, you were incredible. I'm so proud of you. Now it's time for my fantastic fireworks. Ladies and gentlemen, was that not a supremely sensational trick from my glamorous assistant? Right before your very eyes, next on our magical journey, I, your very own Isabel Fig, shall lead you down a road of fire, thunder, and lightning. Sweetie, it's time to, to pop over there and light the fuse while I keep the audience distracted. Pumpkin, you're truly something wonderful. Oh, oh, right over here. We need our lighter. Ooh! It's true. Everybody does love fireworks. Ah! Magic! Science and magic! That was awesome. Thanks so much. The audience loved the fireworks. I'd never have made such a good job of all of this if you weren't here. I'm so 100% absolutely positively super happy that I could just explode, sweetie. Are you happy too? What a show we put on together. Usually it would be Diggory that runs around, around the crowd with my hat, collecting money from those who wish to pay for seeing the show. But today it's down to you. You're the sweetest. It's not hard at all. Just ride round with the hat and people will drop money into it if they want to. Oh. oh. Hello, mm -hmm. money. Money, please. Mm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they all liked the show enough mm -hmm. to give us some money. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Wow, we get quite a lot of money there. I'd never believe we'd get that much. Diggory, do you see this boy? You'll be eating bananas for months after all, <laughs> after all this income. You can keep the hat if you like. I have my own, so I don't need it. We got a new hat! Oh, but I love the hat that we're wearing! Oh, but it, it is it is cool. We'll wear it for now. No, no. Sweetie, I'm absolutely 100% insanely happy. The tourists here in Fort Pinta seem to really love our show, but most fantastic of all was you, darling. You were so incredibly fabulous, you've clearly got magic within you. Can I have your pants, too? Okay, pumpkin, now all that's left to do is clear up. After every show, you've got to be sure to pick up after yourself. And whilst it's not the most exciting thing in the world, with your help, it'll be all done in two shakes of a lamb's tail. We're really not supposed to leave any traces of what we've been up to here. You're quite simply a star for helping. Thanks, love. 
Just pick up what's left of the rockets and place them in this wooden box. Thanks, sweetie. Okay. That's a good mentality, though. Always pick up after yourself. Leave no trace behind. Oh, pop all three in the box. Got it. Woo, there we go, all cleared up. Thanks ever so much. Darling, I can't thank you enough for all your help. I'm absolutely, positively, 100% delighted that I met you. Even more delightful was getting to meet your Frost Dort. I'd love to stay longer, but if I'm ever to have a chance to get to work with the great Idris, then I have to keep working hard. You and I will most definitely see each other again, though. I just know it. To say thanks for all your help, I have a little present for you. It's completely fabulous. Here you go. It's a dress. Oh, we have to collect it. A wonderful stage costume that you can wear as you perform as a magician, a witch, a wizard, an illusionist, or whatever you'd like to call yourself. Isn't it lovely? Darling, I must make a move now, so I'm off. Take care of yourself. Oh, goodbye. She just vanished. Let's check out this dress. Oh, that's cute. Oh, we're magicians now. <laughs> Yay. Well, while we're dressed in magic gear, I thought we would continue working with the address. I would like to get this circus tent up. I'm very excited to see it in action. Will there be circus animals? I don't even know. He keeps promising them, but I still haven't seen any. There we go. We have a few things fixed up now, but we are going to need more tent poles. We're missing the medium-sized poles and the pegs to anchor the ropes to the ground. My fool here says if you can not can get him five trees, he can prune them and get them ready to be used. While you were off fixing those other things for us, I borrowed an axe from Conrad. Here, take the axe and cut down five trees and deliver them to the fool. I have seen five dying trees in the gorge behind the wagon that nobody is going to miss if we cut them down. They should be exactly what we need. Okay. In the gorge behind the wagon. Oh, I see. I imagine we'll definitely have to get off the horse for this, though. So, <laughs> don't want to be swinging an axe on horseback. <laughs> Let's hop down and grab some trees. Woo! It actually fell. I was not expecting that. Okay. And it's on the horse. Oh, he's carrying the tree. Okay. Cool. <laughs> look at Frost George with all the trees. <laughs> you look great, buddy. Looking great. <laughs> Here you go, Jester. Hmm. Trees. Thank you, Nova. Now we can prune and trim these until they are perfect for the tent. <laughs> nice. Oh, no, we're on a timer. Yidris, I just want to get this tent up. Our friend the vet would like us to check on the hedgehogs, I believe. Um, are the hedgehogs fine? Hello again, Nova. I have checked on the hedgehogs and they are doing great. They seem to be very happy. You can ride over there and check for yourself. Come back to me afterwards and I will give you a reward for helping the hedgehogs. Cool. We're, oh, I was about to say we're closing in on the hedgehog location and we completed the quest, I guess. They're doing good, I think. I didn't see any hedgehogs, but that's my guess. <laughs> They're doing fine, I think, Miss Vet Lady. Oh. This is for you, a shirt for a real animal friend. This is my favorite top, but I want you to have it. I hope you will like it. I hope we will like it too. Aww, it's a cute pink tank top. Perfect, because summer's coming up. Back in our normal clothes now. <laughs> Felicity needs our help. I'm always happy to help Felicity. She's very sweet. Um, I don't know what to do. One of my horses, Summer Breeze, hasn't eaten or had anything to drink since yesterday. And for a couple of days, he's been acting real strange. I don't recognize him. He's even been aggressive, and usually he's the nicest and calmest horse in the world. I'm getting very worried. Can you help me, please? Uh-oh. Thanks so much. 
this doesn't sound like a normal illness. Maybe we should talk to the vet in Silverglade Village. Can you ride to her and tell her about Summer Breeze's condition? Yeah, especially if he's acting aggressive. That's troublesome. We have another problem today, vet. This one has to do with a horse. <laughs> oh, this does not sound good. <laughs> I need to think about this for a while. It sounds a bit familiar. In any case, the most important thing now to do is to make the horse eat and drink. I have an idea. Will you help me? Of course we will. Well, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help. Sick animals don't want to eat, but if you feed them by hand, they sometimes will. Do you want to try? Meanwhile, I'll read some books and old notes. You can ride back to Felicity and tell her I'm looking into it. Thank you, vet. We spoke to her, Felicity. So did you talk to the vet? What did she say? She's, she's looking into it. Oh, I hope it's not too serious, but nutrition is most important now, so hand feeding sounds like a good idea. Let's try. Take this and feed Summer Breeze. He's on the left side of the stable. Okay. What'd she give us? Hay. And a bowl. A bucket. Hey, buddy! Please don't be aggressive. Did he eat? It looks like he ate. Oh, what a relief that you made him eat. I feel a bit better now. Oh, good. He ate. <laughs> Another timer. We are doing a whole assortment of quests today. All over the place. Helping everybody. Just the way I like it. Okay, so this quest just unlocked for us. And I'm so excited because... The other day I showed you guys the new uh, Silverglade Equestrian Center with the upgraded graphics and stuff, but I did not have the flowers and bushes and greenery that shows up in the picture. And a few other people asked about this as well. You will not get those unlocked until you do a specific quest with the gardener. So here we are now with the gardener. He's located down below where the vineyard is. Um, and so once we do quests with him, We'll get the rest of the prettiness unlocked <laughs> at the winery. So let's get started because I want to see what it looks like totally remodeled, looking spring beautiful. His name is Bjorn. Mm -hmm. Hey Bjorn, look at the flowers on his overalls. I like it. Hello, what a gorgeous horse you have. I I'm sorry, I should introduce myself. I'm Bjorn, master gardener, artist, and renaissance man at your service. Your horse must be the most beautiful horse ever to trod the green hills of Jorvik. I absolutely have to paint a picture of your horse sometime. Aha, and here beside me is Agnetha, my dear, beautiful wife. Together, we are a formidable gardening team with a brilliant vision, a sacred mission. We are going to restore the winery gardens to their former glory. Now, I have a great idea. You should join us. No, I won't take no for an answer. I can see it now. Bjorn, Agnetha, and Nova. In an article together in the Jorvik Gazette, together they accomplished the task of the century and restored the eighth wonder of the world, the Silverglade Gardens. This is going to be fantastic. Take these measuring sticks, or whatever they're called, and put them into the ground over there by the paddock. When that is done, my dear wife, Agnetha, can start working. Ooh, oh, something's happening. All right, the garden. It's gonna be so cool. Aha, uh -huh, measuring tool. Okay. All right, that was easy. All right, last one, and then we should be good. Excellent. Measuring tools inserted, sir. Mm -hmm. That's great, Nova. This is exciting. Now we need to speak with Agnetha. Let her know if she could start clearing the garden now. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> He's so excited to get this gardening done. Wait, wait. Oh, it's another character burping. I cannot burp on command. I'm sorry. Whoa, that really hit the spot. That was a great sandwich full of mayonnaise, shrimp, and all sorts of great stuff. Oh, what can I do for you now? Whoa, hold it right there. You don't get to ride up here on your little pony and try and tell me how you should clear some land. I don't think so. Listen to me now, little girl. This requires the real thing. Ride over to my old friend Barney and ask him to return the chainsaw I loaned him last year. That and a little dynamite I have under my 
bed. She'd be just the thing to get this job done right in this little garden. I don't know. I'm not a demolitions expert, but I don't think you should have dynamite under your bed. Doesn't seem like a good idea to me. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. Then my little darling man can put his little flowers just where he wants them. She's a very interesting character. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Barney. Hey, Barney, we're looking for a chainsaw. Mm. Agnetta's chainsaw? Yep, I have it. Mm. This chainsaw wasn't really of much use to me, Nova. It's so big that it takes at least three men to even lift it off the ground. Taking it away on horseback shouldn't be a problem, though. Give my best to Bjorn and Agnetha. See you later, Nova. Thanks, Barney. Appreciate it. That's gotta be a really big chainsaw. We have your chainsaw. Oops. Oops. Oh, I got a little carried away there. We have your chainsaw. <laughs> it's about time, Nova. Here's the chainsaw we talked about. Let's have a look at it. It's smaller than I remember, but I guess it might work to clear the area with this little toothpick, but it might take some time. All right, come back tomorrow. Stand back and let a real woman do her job. Hey man, we got your back. That is quite a big chainsaw. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. Sticking with the theme of an odd assortment of quests today, we're here with Mrs. Wow. Holdsworth. Because we're so close to 14, I just want to reach level 14. Oh, Nova, my dear child, I'm so happy to see you. I have a huge problem here in my garden. I can no longer sit and drink my lemonade because I have been invaded by bees. Can you help me get rid of them? We should relocate the bees, Mrs. Holdsworth, to a safer spot. Are you afraid of bees, Nova? I think they are just as frightened of you as you are of them. I don't want to hurt the little creatures. Only move them away from here. Okay, good. So I can continue my peaceful life among the cherry trees. Oh, I see it. There it is up there, the beehive. I have a wonderful idea for how to solve this, but I need your young, strong arms to be able to do it. Can you help me build a beehive? That will not only take them away from my garden, but also get honey for my tea. Ooh, I have already prepared wood for the construction, so maybe you can be an angel and build it for me. Here's a hammer. Of course we will. That sounds excellent. And you know what that means? She'll share her honey with us. Yes. Oh, use hammer. Yes, ma'am. Building. Oh, it's so cute. What an amazing job, dear, dear child. Now we have to hope that the bees want to move in. I assume we have to give them a day. I will put some sugar there so they will get curious and hopefully move in. Excellent. Thanks, Mrs. Holdsworth. You put us a little bit closer to 14, but we're still not there yet. But we have to wait for tomorrow for all of our quests. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for joining me today. We're still not 14, but we'll get there. <laughs> I'm going to work on some reputation quests, doing some of the things over and over again to earn reputation so that we can be sure we unlock Golden Hills Valley and Dino Valley as soon as possible. So I'm going to work on those. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me on this random assortment of quests day. We'll just call it random day. It happens now and then. <laughs> so many awesome things going on at once. Thank you again, you guys, for getting Star Stable to 70,000 YouTube subscribers. That's awesome. Don't forget to thumbs up the videos that you like so we know what you're into and what you want to see and what we should do. Let us know. Be vocal. <laughs> Cassidy told us that she rides a horse in real life named Liam. And he looks just like the horse from Tangled. That's so cool. Maybe she can, she can share a picture with us sometime. We had two very excited horse purchases this week as well. Kalado Cat got an Icelandic named Pepper Wisp. I like that. That's very pretty. And Georgia got a Dapple Gray Shire named Moon Rebel. Very awesome names. You guys shared a lot with me, uh, some new horses that you've gotten. These two were just very, very excited about their new purchase. So I thought I would share. Um, thank you guys for all of your comments and questions and responses in the comments on YouTube. I always appreciate it. It's so much fun to read. Tell me about what you're doing in real life and what you're doing in the game. And it's awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching and responding. And I will see you next time. Bye!